Welcome back to Philippines Uncut. I'm Buddy Kunana. Tonight's topic is alternative, alternative remedies for heart disease. And joining us still are uh, Mr. Romelo Santos and Dr. Angelita Santa Teresa of the Integrated Laser and Complementary Medicine Center. Now, uh, welcome back, Romel and Dr. Um, let's pick up from where we uh, stopped Left earlier. Off, huh? We were talking about diagnosis. And uh, you mentioned a lot of things. You mentioned looking at nails, looking at the tongue, the hair. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I mean, how can, how can you you know a person, what, what the person's well-being is by looking at someone's nails. I mean, I'm looking at your nails, like I can't, they look like mine. <laughs> 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 I mean, right? So how, how can you do this? Well, I think from my several years of studies, I think it's because the body, when there's something, there's a disorder inside, mm. it is the body's way of calling the owner's attention or the practitioner's attention to that particular disorder mm. by presenting itself exteriorly or superficially because sometimes you know even if you're aching inside but you tend to just ignore it yeah. right but once there's something wrong that is you know superficially located or very visible then you'll give it some attention this sounds like a very mm. chinese or or, or part of eastern way of diagnosis yeah. because you know i but was in beijing a few years ago and i went to the traditional as part of the tour traditional Chinese medicine, and they yeah. look at the pulse, the they pulse. look at your tongue, and automatically, this is before I went on my diet, yeah. they, they, they would tell me I have fatty liver, all that yes. blah, blah, blah. I, so I also studied the pulse diagnosis, but then I believe the nail and the tongue, plus the face and body marks, they're enough for me. Because wow. with the pulse diagnosis, like you really have to concentrate, concentrate, and it's quite variable. Yes. Well, now, doctor, I have a question, okay? What is the, now you are a Western trained medical doctor. Mm -hmm. What is the reaction of your colleagues when you, I mean, you know, Western guys, Western doctors, again, blood test, treadmill, you know, the usual tools. Now when you tell them these things about the nail, the, the tongue, the well, of physical, course. what is the reaction? The common uh, reaction was, you know, keep their distance and somewhat uh, be skeptic skeptical. Skeptical, sure. Aborizing. But That's I would natural. say that it's more <clears throat> of the, Fear of the unknown, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they don't, they don't know what I've uh, studied. Yeah. You know? and, and, and but, I, I, but I believe, you yeah. know, like any well-meaning doctor is willing to explore whatever avenues are available yes. in order to better diagnose their clients. And these uh, diagnostic measures that I'm referring to are safer, mm. more reliable, and cost-effective yes. you know, for the patients. Yes. So, so, and then... Uh, a few months after, they tried sending their parents to me. And then when they noticed that they all improved a lot, <laughs> that's when they started referring other people to me okay. and uh, even themselves. I'm glad you brought it up. Romel, let's talk about now success rate. Now, you guys have been around for two years. Your Cebu uh, clinic center has been up for two years. How about your Manila office? How, how long has it been um, running? Two weeks. Oh, so it's new yeah, in Manila. Yeah, so you, you started very, in yeah. Cebu. We first started in Cebu, why, yes. Because why Cebu? Are you from Cebu? Uh, my father's from Cebu. Okay. The very first, um, well, when, when I first started, uh, I run, I, um, it's like a symposium. Yeah. There's over 50 or 80 doctors have attended on that symposium. Out of those 80, there's only three left. And all those three left doctors are the ones that have worked with us on researching developing the different types of protocol we can use <coughs> in, um, in, in conjunction with the current modalities that they use. Yeah. In our clinic, we have a very um, high success rate uh, with regards to cardiovascular disease. Wow. Okay. Cardiovascular Before we talk about specific. that, we, we have now the machine in front of us. Yes. Uh, maybe we can explain to the audience what, what this contraption is in front of us and what are yeah. the different implements aside from the machine uh, we, we have on, on the table? Um, well, this is the, um, the intravenous laser therapy device. Okay. okay? This is... Looks like a um, fax machine. Yeah, it, it looks... <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually smaller than yeah. a fax machine, but it can save you, if not hundreds of thousands, <laughs> millions. Um, well, develop, design, develop, I won't say invented in Russia. Mm -hmm. Now, um, it's now here available in the Philippines specifically or um, in exclusively center. in our clinic. Okay. Now, there's, um, there's only a few functions in this. Once you turn the machine on, you have to, the, uh, this is what we call the, um, 
radiation emitting um, probe. Okay. okay. What it is is um, this is where we connect the, the needle. The needle. The, the IV. Uh, we call it the we, we call this a fiber optic, fiber um, optic needle. needle. Right. Okay. Right. So from here you set you, you set all your parameters like the output power, the um, manometer, or the wavelength. All right. The time on on how long you're going to use the machine or sorry the um, the, the radiating machine for. So from here, it'll power up this radiating emi emitting device, yeah. which is attached to the, um, oh sorry, which the needle is attached to this. The so the, need the needle, yeah. the fiber optic needle. So and, and then you put this into the intravenously into the through now, the um, cephalic base. No, Ramil, it looks like a big needle. You don't put that whole thing in the arm, do you? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> just the hole. Just, just the hole. Just, just, just the tip. The yeah. Enough to tip. enough to get into the. Um, to, the vein. to the vein and shoot the light or the laser and yes. shoot the light in there. You're right. Okay. Okay. Now because uh, I uh, we're explaining this because in, in the next segment in a few minutes we have a, a volunteer, Mel Dizon, who yep. was uh, bravely volunteered to be here and Brave to enough. undergo yeah. on the, on on air uh, sample treatment. You, yes. You're oh, sure uh, she wasn't coerced? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> the shield trooper. So, <laughs> so wait, let's talk about success rate. What we, is your success rate when, when, when it comes to treating cardiovascular? Uh, Cases. We it's 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 bare to give a percentage because we've only treated a handful of people. Okay. Okay. These people have been um, have been to the specialist specifically, and they've By been specialists. You mean Western cardi doctor? Yeah, cardiologist. Western, yeah, cardiologist. Cardiologist. Yeah. Right. And um, most of them have been advised to be prepared or been suggested to you know like go Under on um, bypass, bypass or angioplasty. angioplasty. Like. A few of our patients have actually accepted the. That they're the, gonna do it. They're, that gonna, they're gonna do it. <laughs> yes, but we, we, we have a we, we have a few patients that you know like yes I'll accept to go under that but hang on, there is a solution that I have been informed of by another you know most of them are from you know like church or friend or friends, so they come to our clinic in Cebu and they see one of you know sorry they see our medical director Dr. Del Benuya, and it's exactly the same. Um, concept as what Dr. Angeli has been doing is not to tell patients what they already have. It's about educating patients of what they can be after the treatment. Because we, mm -hmm. the, the doctors, have, they, they already know what's actually wrong with them, and yeah. they already knew what they're going or they have to do yeah. to get better. But You're just presenting them with an with an with, option with with with, a sol with, with another solution. Mm. And all of these patients, and you know, like all of these patients that we've seen. I can't remember anyone that have actually failed. Okay, let's talk about that. Because uh, Romel said that uh, there are some patients who came and they were already advised by the doctor, yes. the cardiologist, you have to have an angioplasty or a bypass and you, you need this. And they actually went to your center and they underwent uh, this treatment. And I mean, what happened? Uh, were they cleared? Well, most of them, if not all of them, yeah. Three months after, they'll have to redo their diagnostic okay. um, evaluation. Yes. Like they have to go the two D echo again, and because I'm not a doctor, I don't know what other yes. tests yeah. they do. Yeah. Majority of them come back clear with the two D echo. As in, as in, as in, compare apple to apple. This one, you have a problem. And the blockages were were were, were They gone. can't they can't see the blockages. They can't see the blockages. I, I can't Imagine remember that. one of the patients' doctor said. <laughs> Whatever you're doing. Whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Imagine mm. that. Imagine that. So these patients about to take. Uh, uh, either bypass or angioplasty went to you guys and then after after the treatment they went back and they had themselves checked again yes through the 2d echo mm. and, through, and it came out clear yeah, yeah. and you know to, to spice it all he's a ship captain like you know those big um cargo ship yes. and he mm. can't get apparently he can't get his um seafarers compet mm. competency something certificate mm. unless he passed the medical the clearance yeah. and we have a few of them yeah. not just one not just ten we have a few of them. How, how long are the treatments? I mean, like, uh, how long are they? I mean, like, how many sessions does a person usually need? For the cardiovascular, yes. so for the it's cardio about eight to ten, maximum of ten. Yeah, maximum. eight to ten, maximum of ten. And how long per session? Twenty to thirty minutes. That's it. Yes. So you, they just go to the center, they sit down, they're comfortable, yeah. they can eat, they can read, watch the TV, they can, they can TV, read, um, they can sleep. Is there any, is there any sensation here? I mean, is there any pain? Is there any, aside from the well, most of them, mm. mo Most of them fall asleep. Mm. So, so you, you just... <laughs> that's why, that, that, 
It's, I, don't, I don't know, maybe because our, our, our center is very comfortable yeah. Yeah. Mm. or it's, it's just the effect of the, of the machine. Mm. And we don't want to spec, uh, speculate. Mm. So, but the patient, on the first 24 hours, based on historical data that we have on all our patients, the improvement that they always say is uh, they have more energy or they felt energized. They um, don't feel a lot of chest tightness and they sleep well. Energized but calm. Energized calm. but calm, yes, exactly. Not like the hyper, yeah, yeah. not like the hyper renewed. energized. No. Like a feeling of renewal. Rejuvenated. Re rejuvenated. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Now, um, uh, you guys have been in Cebu for two years already. How has the reception been in Cebu? I mean, how is business doing? Are you guys getting more and more patients? Well, initial, uh, on our initial year, we, um, we offer this to people to come, you know, to, we, we offer the treatment to people for next to nothing. Like, come in, we'll treat you. We just want to take, you know, like, we just want to record sure. data. Now that we're, we've, we've opened commercially, we don't advertise. All we have is a brochure, wow. an inform, information brochure to give to the patient. All no, word of mouth. No, no, all word, word of mouth. mouth. No we're relying on people bringing in uh, referrals. Our referrals to yeah. us, yes. Yes, yeah, that's amazing, huh? Amazing. How much do you guys charge, if you don't know mind me asking? We charge an average of... Um, 2,000 pesos per session. Per session. And per session. For, 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 for heart problems, 8 to 10. So 2,000 each, yeah. that's uh, 20,000. Yeah. average. compared to your to other procedures. To <laughs> angioplasty, that's and an, an angiogram, and then an angioplasty, yes. and then, yes. God, God forbid, a heart bypass. Well, we don't mind them giving us a tip once they've saved <laughs> yeah. you know, over a million <laughs> pesos for them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Romel, we have about two minutes to break. Uh, do you have any words for the audience? Um, yes. Um, well, it's um, a document coming from the Department of Health that cardiovascular disease is still the number one silent killer here in the Philippines. It affects not just yourself, but your family, your children, your livelihood, everything, once you suffered, you know, the, the unforeseen. Our clinics are located, one in Cebu, which is the very first one, and we have, we have now opened in... Um, Medical Plaza. Medical Plaza, or I think, I think they're, they're going to flash the... the the details yes. uh, on, on the screen, you um, have the telephone numbers. We're not, we're, not, we're not saying that we're, we're, we're the best. However, if you're after a solution in Cebu, please do call us on 032-418-416-4606. That's the one. And 032-254-1844 or in our Otigas branch on 02477-0844 or 02. Six three one seven eight two one. Excellent. It's always best to have a solution. Sure, and you know what we're presenting to people now. We're not saying that. Uh, I mean, w that this thing is hundred percent. We're saying this is an option. This yes. is an option. Yes. Open yes. your mind. Open your eyes to what you can do. That you don't need to go via bypass or angioplasty straight away. You can yep. you can explore this option. There's an effective and cost-effective option. Excellent. Excellent. I believe. Now um, we're going to. Bid uh, goodbye to Romel because yeah. uh, uh, we have Mel who, who vol who's volunteered to have a treatment here on the studio in the studio coming. So thank you very much, Romel. More thank power you for to you. Um, having us no, here. No, for and, sure. and, um, uh, and, and we'll be covering what you guys are doing in your Ortigas branch in the way in the weeks and, and months to come. Oh yes, please. Thank, thank you very you. much. So guys, uh, stay tuned because more of uh, Philippines and Cut and alternative uh, remedies for heart problems and and an on studio live uh, demonstration of this machine when Philippines and Cut returns.